On September 11th, 2001, a criminal cabal took over the U.S. government, stealing trillions of dollars in the process. These insane lunatics, bent on global domination, have never been prosecuted. The world has done nothing to bring them to justice. What we're seeing today is just the logical continuation of that grab for power. These lunatics understand only one thing, and they only have one strategy, and they only have one tool, and that is war, and more war, and more war. Even in a world that was at peace, and in a world where there could be complete and total peace and prosperity for everyone, these lunatics keep pushing the world further and further into war after war after war. Their tool is the false flag attack, as was 9-11. As with the Iraq war, they use that as a false pretext. They fabricate pretexts for war. That's what they do. And they get caught every time. And they do it again and again and again and again and they continue doing it and the world does nothing to stop them. This is not such a big group of people. Myself and many of the hackers I communicate with and truthers that I communicate with We've tried for years to communicate to the American people what their rulers that they supposedly have some power over and could in reality stop any time they chose to. We've tried to communicate to them, but they have done nothing. We've tried to communicate to the American public that their media was completely taken over. We've tried to communicate to them about the false flags that the cabal that took over their government is engaged in. We've tried to communicate to them the plans for mass incarceration, Rex 84, MK Ultra, Mockingbird mind control in their media, the takeover of their media by the shadow government and their deep state and the cabal through the BBG all legalized with instruments that they've snuck through. But the American people don't seem to want to do anything, so we're pretty much done with them. So we have to... Th I'm communicating to the world now. This is for you, citizen of the world. What we're dealing with is... It's 2018. We're dealing with primitive, uh, b brutal barbarians is what we're dealing with, whose only solution to everything, and the only way they can fix their own financial incompetence, is to steal from other countries. We've posted information about two major false flags coming up. One was an unbelievable nuclear false flag that the CIA was planning in the Donbass. The next is another horrendous chemical weapons attack in Syria as, of course, the pretext for more war. The U.S. wants bases and they want a permanent presence in the sovereign country of Syria where they have no business to begin with. For whom? For Israel, of course. The criminals that took over the U.S. government are dual Ziocons 
as one of my friends calls them, the Ziocons. They're no longer neocons. They're all dual Israeli citizens, the same people that overthrew the government in Ukraine. Criminals is all they are. Barbaric, lunatic, mass murdering, genocidal criminals hiding behind the religion of the Jews. All right, let's let's look at a few for a few minutes. While I was monitoring, of course, as I do all the time, the news wires and the media. <laughs> It's so ridiculously, transparently idiotic and obvious that the U.S. media is, it's not even worth watching anymore as this, uh, the death of warmongering, traitor, coward, and lunatic McCain is transformed into some sort of loss of a hero or something just a minute here um, let me pull up this uh, little story and then we'll get into the false flag stuff now why why was Alex Jones taken off the air I talked about that a f uh, two videos ago well he was the only one who was exposing false flags just like even here in Russia they've taken all my Boston bombing and all my other and my 9-11 material and all my Serbian interviews and everything discussing exactly what they're doing uh, is now taken off uh, of the Russian web by the Russian Ziocons. Right? You the people are supposed to be stupid and not see for yourselves that they're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. They have one plan, they have one blueprint, and they just keep doing it over and over again. They, they're, they're retarded, really. Like I said in my video about the Don Bess attack and how they're d pretending to stage this and use the media, and they actually believe that people believe them I mean, how many times can you do the same thing and get away with it? Well, apparently they think they can do it endlessly because they control the media. And there's, they shut down anyone who calls them out or who exposes them. Okay, um, real quick, this was pulling up some of the news we've been covering that <sighs> the U.S. has a course ignored in most Western outlets even European ones these are some uh, let's just go over some of that. so I, I follow the news all the time I post it on Joe too all the time and um, I'm thinking maybe I'll do these updates more often if people are going to be watching them so uh, you like this video right away I'll say please share it okay uh, can't have too many windows open here uh, here's the one I was looking for so while the world was or not the world well m much of the world because even let's see the Euro news which is a useless Ziocon European outlet uh, one of their headlines, completely fake, is that Russians tried to hack Orthodox clergy. That is the most ridiculous claim I have ever seen. No Russian would think about hacking an Orthodox priest. For what? Besides, they don't get on the internet hardly at all. This is ridiculous. But they're trying to demonize Russians to hide their own crimes because we know that the CIA and the Catholic Church and the Vatican and the Zionists they hate the Orthodox Church and the, they've tried to in infiltrate it many times the Russian Orthodox Church is an active CIA target All right, um, Tick, 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 tick. 
not much there. Uh, some of the stories, there's a, a good article on the Free Thought Project, which is now accessible again at JAR2. Uh, for some reason, I was blocked from their, or our domain, or the entire country of Russia was blocked from their site. I don't know. But it's accessible. And they're complaining about um, stories that are being ignored while everyone's ranting about McCain. Uh, here's a few before we get into the false flag stuff. Uh, uh -huh. I'll just read some excerpts from this is by Matt Agorist or Agorist. I don't know how he pronounces his name. I'll just read a couple of good paragraphs from his um, article. Highlighting, he says, the sheer mind controlling power of the establishment's narrative that it has over the thoughts of Americans, even the staunch anti-war democratic socialist Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took to Twitter to declare her admiration for the man who had an eulogy written for him by a weapons company for whom he made billions. I'm not even going to read these quotes, this is so ridiculous. Uh, Matt says they won't stomp on the man's grave. However, I'm sure mi millions of people who he was responsible for killing would. Um, he says there were five, uh, and he published a list of five, what he s thinks were important stories that the mainstream media missed. And I, I can add about 50 more while obsessing over the champion of the warfare state. Right. U.S. media and now the internet are complete slaves. Not the, I shouldn't say the internet, I should say the U.S. segment and the Western segment and the Five Eyes segment are all complete slaves to the military intelligence industrial complex. Hold on, I'm going through my windows here. Uh, he mentions as number one that Russia has officially announced that the time has come to get rid of the dollar. Yes, we covered that. That was on the news on Joe 2. I posted several stories by uh, Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rybkov. And Russia is doing what it should have done decades ago and getting the dollar out of Russia because the dollar is the key tool of control for the Illuminati and the globalists and the cabal. That is their chief source of power, especially over Russia, since militarily Russia could wipe them out in the blink of an eye. But uh, He comes, let's see here, uh, here's a quote, the time has come when we need to go from words to actions and get rid of the dollar as a means of mutual settlements and look for other alternatives. So, as you know, when, say, China and, let's say, I don't know, Australia are doing trade, they do it in dollars and that keeps the dollar as a viable currency, even though the United States itself has been bankrupt completely and totally for decades now. Uh, it was about eight years ago that the U.S. national debt was more than the GDP of the entire planet. So even if we sold the planet, we couldn't pay off the U.S.'s debt. All right, uh, Vegas shooter's girlfriend, another false flag, where they murdered dozens of people. The Vegas shooter's girlfriend reportedly worked at the 
FBI. What a strange coincidence that is, and that has been verified with the FBI saying that they are concerned over this revelation and not denying that she did in fact work there. Um, this was another story we published on JAR2 in the news section on the news page. A detective, this was in South Africa, um, after the murder of Jenny Moore in the United States, who was also investigating, uh, I hate to use the word elite, but uh, the rich people's pedophile, or pedophilia rings. Uh, this detective published a book and was shot in the head uh, two days later. A former police detective and author of a bombshell book that exposed a massive pedophile ring made up of high-level government officials was found shot in the head last week. While officials are calling it an apparent suicide, his family is claiming he told them he would never kill himself and that people were after him because he was about to expose even more high-level government pedophilia. His name was Mark Min, or Mine, or Mine, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, M-I-N-N-E. Um, he's the author of the book The Lost Boys of Bird Island. He devoted his post-police life, he was a detective, to exposing the corruption and horrifying pedophilia he discovered while working as a detective. Rest in peace. All right, um, this is just U.S. related, and this Burning Man Festival is threatening to sue the feds for turning the festival into an unconstitutional police state. Okay, well, anyway, according to, what's his name here, according to Matt, those are the, uh, the five major stories that McKean's long-awaited death has taken away uh, the attention from. Okay, uh, about Stephen Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley. Uh, she worked for the FBI. Uh, why have FBI agents in charge Aaron Roos and Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Sheriff Joseph Lombardo, that's what it says, LVMPD Sheriff, uh, kept the fact that Mary Lou Danley worked for the FBI secret from the general public from day one of the Las Vegas shooting. Very good question, and pretty obvious the answer to that one. Okay, let's move on here. Um, oh, I'll save this one for the last. Okay. Hold on a minute here. And, uh, I recommend you visit. Uh, I get my news that I post on Jar 2 from directly, the Syrian news, directly from a Syrian news agency. It's the most dependable place to get news about Syria, is from Syria. That should be obvious. But. All right, uh, let's go through some stories about the upcoming false flag that the U.S. is planning. The Russian Defense Ministry has confirmed information from several independent sources on transporting of eight packages of chlorine. Um, it's not clear exactly how big these packages were, uh, but they were significant in size, and the quantity was quite large. Uh, to a village in Jasur al Shaghur countryside to shoot a film of a chemical attack by terrorists. Uh, they even know the party of the terrorists in advance who are supposed to be blamed for this the Turkestan party and Jabhat al Nusra. Al Nusra is, of course, the Al Qaeda offshoot by, run by the CIA. Okay. Uh, here's another story on that. The Russian, all right, 
right, this was from Sana. This was from the 25th. Russian Ministry of Defense revealed confirmed information that Jabhat al Nusra terrorist organization and the affiliated groups are reading a chemical attack against civilians in Idlib province to accuse the Syrian forces. Now, when the Russian Defense Ministry puts something out like this, they are not like CNN or the U.S. State Department or the CIA or any of your lying, weaselly Western bodies. They put out statements like this when there is 100% certainty that what they're saying is true. I trust any statement by the Russian Defense Ministry more than I would trust any statement by the War Ministry of the UK or the War Department of the US. Anyway, uh, Major General Igor Konashenkov said in a statement on Saturday that according to confirmed information by several independent sources, the eight canisters of chlorine were delivered in a village near Jisra al Shagor city to stage a chemical attack. Um, let's see, it's just repeating. Uh, all right, he added that the information from Idlib uh, informants uh, confirmed that a group of terrorists trained by the British, British, so we have MI6 here, private company of Olive arrived in Jassar Al Sugar to participate in the playing the role of volunteers who would simulate a rescue operation involving purportedly injured locals. The Russian Foreign Minister re or Ministry, I'm sorry, reaffirmed that Western and Middle Eastern states are achieving their interest in the region through the obnoxious obnoxious quote provocations by terrorists who are using chemical weapons in Syria and please everybody this is getting ridiculous it's getting old it's I I can't I'm just waiting I'm not even waiting anymore I, I waited for years until some country and someone would either go to an international body and charge the US and the Five Eye countries and MI6 and the CIA with the supporting of and creation of terrorists with the crime of aggressive war uh, with the crimes involving the mass murder of innocent civilians and the fabrication of evidence for war uh, crimes against peace but no one does anything and no, no country dares to um, I suppose but if we could get together and if the governments of the world got together they surely could do something I am certain of that um, hopefully uh, when the world gets rid of the dollar maybe uh, they'll, they'll have the Go guts to actually do something. I don't know. Um, so here we have the guilty parties. Um, um, all right. Uh, the foreign ministry condemned the joint statement recently issued by F U K U S. That's France, the United Kingdom, and the U.S., indicating that it is clear from a long time that the obnoxious operations carried out in some Syrian areas are perpetrated by Daesh, ISIS, and members of the so-called moderate opposition and non-governmental organizations which serve their interests, such as the White Helmets. Remember here, we have the same Al-Qaeda, ISIS, which is the Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. The story with that is when uh, Al-Qaeda uh, offshoot Al-Nusra uh, and those organizations needed another name change. 
uh, and Mossad needed another party. They couldn't think of a name, and uh, one of the commanders of the uh, of Mossad, he said, "Well, why don't we just call him ISIS?" And it was it was a joke, really. He said, "Since they're Israeli secret intelligence service, and but the name stuck. They call him ISIS, really, just to you know throw in the faces of the people." Uh, what's really going on and nobody does anything anyway just ask yourself this Israel and the United States are wiping out the entire Arab world and they're killing millions of people yet these so-called terrorist groups they never once attack Israel just like Al-Qaeda never attacked the US on 9-11 ISIS and Daesh and all these terrorist groups, they never attack Israel. All right, the foreign ministry expressed regret for uh, exploiting these operations. Da, da, da. The rest is just, uh, let's see if we have some more details here. Okay. All right, again, we got the white helmets. That's CIA and Mossad. Um, oh, this was interesting. They have a the Ministry of Defense of Russia obtained information from locals in Idlib that experts speaking English are preparing to stage fake chemical attacks using chlorine bombs that will be launched over the coming two days. Okay, so that should either that was from the 26th it is now the 28th. So. Uh, I doubt they would actually go through with this because Russia has been very effectively putting this story out. Um, but they are stupid enough uh, where they, they would do it anyway. Um, let's see what else, anything else on this that is interesting. Uh, Locals, English, English speaking experts in the country giving instructions. Uh -huh. okay. All right, Russia has also warned the U.S. against reckless steps amid reports of the false flag attack. Moscow has warned Washington against making any reckless moves in Syria after the Russian Defense Ministry said the U.S., Britain, and France, that's F-U-K, U.S., are preparing to conduct a fresh aerial assault against Syria under the pretext of the alleged use of chemical weapons by the Damascus government. Russia says, quote, we warn the Americans and their allies against taking new reckless steps in Syria said Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rukov on Saturday. We are hearing ultimatums from Washington and it does not affect our determination to continue our policy for the total elimination of terrorist epicenters in Syria and the return of this country to a normal life, said Rukov. Earlier in the day, the ministry spokesman, uh, Major General Igor Konashenkov, from the Defense Ministry, said that a group of militants who were trained by private British military companies, this of course MI6, had already arrived in Syria's northwestern Idlib province to carry out the alleged chemical attack. Okay, we've already talked about that. Russian General further warned that possible militant. Da, da, da. <laughs> Okay, oh, and here we go. This is, this is fairly important. Um, the U.S. destroyer USS The Sullivans, armed with 56 cruise missiles, arrived in the Persian Gulf, and a U.S. B-1B bomber carrying 24 air-to-surface AGM-158J SSM cruise missiles had been deployed at Al-Udaid Air Base in Qatar. 
Western countries' actions, in spite of their public statements, are aimed at another sharp deterioration of the situation in the Middle East region and the disruption of the peace process on the territory of Syria, which I underline again, they want to occupy permanently. Uh, Colonel Sanders' stand-in arch lunatic neocon Ziocon Bolton issued a warning, which I'm not even going to dignify as uh, by repeating. Of course, Zio Bolton is only in there to push for war for the Zionists and the neocons in Israel. Um, this is interesting. Speaking at a press conference with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, in Moscow on Friday, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Kavusoglu, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, said that the two countries could cooperate on separating Idlib terrorists from opposition groups. Yeah. Um, Lavrov said the situation is complex um, and that Moscow, when hosting peace talks, had not expected that the terrorists would be using um, the peace process and civilians as, a, as human shields to continue to attack the Assad government, which I will repeat is the legitimate elected government of Syria, Russia's presence, Turkey's presence in Syria are by invitation and request of the legitimate government of Syria. The U.S. has been warned multiple times to get out of Syria. It is not their country. They were not asked to be there. They are technically and factually an invasion force providing air support and military support, tactical support and logistical support to their proxy terrorist scum who are destroying the country. Let's move on here to, this was, okay, so, so much, so that's that, Ter uh, false flag attack one. Uh, if you haven't been on the site, or if you can't get on the site, which, for whatever reason that might be, um, although we are accessible worldwide, um, and we've been told we are faster than some people in the UK have reported that they can access JAR2 faster than they can some local sites, because we're not data mining and we're not tracking anybody and when you get on JAR2, all you do is you get on JAR2. You don't get into GCHQ, there's no CIA uh, hidden uh, sub-basement interface, etc, etc, etc. Okay, just one minute. Um, I did talk about this already. Uh, plans seem to have gone out the window for the nuclear false flag that the lunatics at the SBU, at the behest of their CIA controllers, were attempting to plan in Donbass. Hopefully that is out the window. There has been no more news since we reported on that one. And since the documents, the orders to carry that out were released. Okay, last thing we want to get into here is this... Blight on Humanity named McCain. Um, this is an article by Edward Morgan, uh, titled, this is on the State of the Nation 2012 com, which, uh, 
in the last few months has been about the only reliable source rather than some aggregators which is publishing anything resembling the truth. Uh, headline, Navy releases McCain's records. McCain was personally responsible for the deadliest fire in the history of the U.S. Navy. He was also, of course, responsible for the deaths of dozens of sailors. Uh, the death toll in Don Boss now is about 11 thousand he's directly responsible there as well he's responsible for millions killed in Iraq and Libya and every country he showed up at he's responsible for the death of Nimsov and the people he recruited here in Russia to try to stage a color revolution and an armed military insurrection which the CIA, CIA had been offering 680 million dollars for in Russia which thank God was stopped um, so let's continue with this story so this was on the state of the nation site and I would flip around here with the, uh, show you what I'm looking at, but I'll do that towards the end. Because I'm going to have to focus everything. Alright, um, I'm quoting here. This is again from State of the Nation 2012.com by Edward Morgan. Article was dated August 27th, and he says, John McCain was a rat or stooly telling on other U.S. officers being held captive at the Hanoi Hilton prison. When McCain first went to Congress, members of Congress turned their backs on him and did not communicate with him because of this and also how he disgraced the military and his fellow officers who were... I love the way they just... water down the language, right? Uh, it says, uh, he disgraced the military and his fellow officers who were severely punished by, severely punished. Okay? They were tortured. It's like, or, or they were, um, they were the victims of uh, enhanced interrogation. Right? Anyway, they were severely punished by the North Vietnam Guards and commanders of the Communist prison by McCain, McCain ratting them out. Um, McCain was called the songbird or the canary because he was squealing on everybody. He was giving up U.S. secrets and everything just to protect himself. And which used to be called treason but this was ignored because his father who was also a traitor were, they were rich um, yeah he was given special treatment McCain was personally responsible for the dead here this is the interesting one about the Navy because he killed at least um, 27, but w there's no record of how many more died in the hospital. These were fellow sailors. Um, a new detail I never heard about was that McCain was a, uh, for the fighter jets, they used to have this thing called wet starting. So, you know, they pump in extra jet fuel and when it starts it shoots fire out of the back so that apparently there was a, a pilot behind McCain's plane and he, he wet started it which caused um, his aircraft uh, uh, to spit out flames which hit an A4 a Skyhawk um, no I'm sorry uh, what planes do we have here? McCain had an A-4 
uh, loaded with thousand pound bombs uh, on pylons designed for 500 pound bombs uh, so much crap here going on this is supposed to be the US Navy um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, so what happened was he he wet started um, the flames hit this F4 Phantom that was behind him and killed the pilot. Uh, then his plane was hit by an air to ground Zuni missile that was launched from that A4 Phantom F4 Phantom. Sorry. Um, and of course it leading into a chain reaction of the worst fire in the history of the u.s navy and he was just doing some uh, hot shot uh, game this wet starting crap uh, well, da -da 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 -da. all right anyway that's about his military record so um, I, I don't think any normal military man lowered their flag or was very sad to see this lunatic pass away. And there was one more story um, from, let's see here, hold on a minute. This one quantifies better what this g degenerate SOB was really about. Uh, he was heavily involved in the Maidan, and if you remember, uh, it became a running joke that any country he visited would soon be the target of U.S. bombs and a color revolution, and, and that's exactly what it was. He was the shadow governments and the Rothschilds, little war emissary uh, a year and a half ago he was in Iran uh, fortunately the world has prevented that attack from happening again for Israel um, oh here's the one last story and then I'll let you go so that's and then it, it's okay. Ah. U.S. Senator McCain's hawkish stance led to the death of millions, says this analyst. Okay, this was on Press TV in an article written by, it does not say at the top. Okay, so I guess they're scared of getting blowback. Uh, he was a member of the U.S. military elite whose hawkish foreign policy positions led to the death of millions of people. This was said by an American social political analyst. Uh, what, who's the analyst? The former U.S. presidential candidate, Vietnam War vet, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, Grandson, most people are open critical. T -t -t okay. mm. Let's reflect on the lives of the millions of victims of wars for profit that people like McCain openly encouraged under false pretenses, said Walt Pareto, a writer, researcher, and political analyst in Washington. Um, while the mainstream media praises and sugarcoats this piece of shit of a man, no, I'm sorry, I added that, a man who craved wars for profit and impeded the official acknowledgement of peacemakers uh, like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who was killed by the FBI. We all need to put this man's life into the proper perspective. He, I added that about killed by the FBI. Um, despite the incessant propaganda in the controlled media, he told Press TV, um, McCain was a top dog. 
who sacrificed his own military people to kill innocent men, women, and children around the world for decades in order to advance the agenda of organized psychopathic rule over all people and resources of the world. Very good. That was stated by Walt Pareto. I see somebody is as awake as I am. Huh. Let's read, let, let me read that again. That was unexpected. I didn't read this before, but that's exactly what I started out with when I was mentioning the false flags. He says, uh, McCain was a top dog who sacrificed his own military people to kill innocent men, women, and children around the world for decades in order to advance the agenda of organized psychopathic rule over all people and re all resources of the world. So, McCain was the, uh, that incidentally happened at the Gulf of Tonkin. Remember that one? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he was the piece of crap who came up with the song about, uh, bomb, 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 Iran. Right? Real funny. Uh, Israel, da, 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 Trump, Jerusalem. Oh, I have long believed Jerusalem is. The, oh, we're not going to say that. Jerusalem is the capital of Palestine. Yes. Israel is a fictitious country, and fictitious countries can't have capitals. Um, maverick. Oh, this bullshit. Uh, some good comments here on the Press TV site. Um, McCain was not a war hero. He was a warmonger and terrorist creator responsible for death, for the deaths of many innocent children, elderly women. He destroyed the infrastructure of many Zions, of many countries. Alright. Well, they call... Press TV, a Zionist uh, newspaper. Okay, I, I disagree with that point, but okay. Uh, uh, a true hero for his nation is Rahel. Mm hmm. McCain's nation is Israel, Israel, a dual national traitor. Father not only covered up the Gulf of Tonkin incident, but also the USS Liberty. The list is too long. Uh, the White House flag is no longer at half staff. It lasted less than 48 hours. It breaks from precedent that it lowered until burial. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, he was a member of the U.S. military elite. He was a Jew world order puppet working for the synagogue of Satan, communist, racist, apartheid, Israel, Rothschild, Kazarian, criminal mafia, Jews. Wow. Okay. You are... Okay, that's kind of Criminal is eulogized as a hero. What does that say about the nation? One would be an idiot to believe anything or sign any agreement with a Jew-owned entity such as this, meaning the United States of Jamaica. Arms giant Lockheed Martin called McCain. Of course, Lockheed Martin would... They owned McCain. He was their biggest salesperson, the guarantor of their endless profits. They called him an exceptionally courageous leader, a true <coughs> patriot. He's a hero for arms manufacturers. Right. That's the problem you have. 
Jew, Erica. You've allowed the military industrial complex to take over your country. They have one agenda and they only have one way of uh, solving anything. And they only have one solution for every economic ill and every social ill as well. And that's terror and war, killing and imprisonment, force and fear. Complete and total failure. Dirty Man. R.I.P. Songbird. Uh, if he had won the presidency, humanity would not be here now. He was a great guy who used napalm and Agent Orange uh, to kill defenseless Vietnamese women and children. Mm-hmm. Rust in peace, and it spells peace, Rust, R-U-S-T, and in peace, P-I-E-C-E. -E. Peace of what? We can only guess. <laughs> um, wow, John McCain served us well by calling and voting for war at every opportunity that presented itself. Oh, by the way, he had a foundation, too, that they were trafficking little children. So he was involved in the Pizzagate thing. Um, thank you, God Almighty, for having put an end to the existence of this filthy creature. Jesus, I don't even have to rant or say anything myself. I'll just read these quotes. Warmonger John McCain should have been put in jail for approving, promoting, aiding, and abetting genocide. The U.S. spent seven trillion in the Middle East bombing and killing millions of innocent people. Very good one. This is from a poster named No More Wars for the Jews. A real monkey. Mass murderer, sadist, Jewish mafia. Wow. The guy is dead. Let's stop talking about him. Okay, I agree. If there were <laughs> such a thing as hell, he would have the best place in it along the side of his Zionist masters. I hope he burns in hell with all his Im admirers. Now he's lying in hell. A good blow to Netanyahu's anti-Iran propaganda. It's probably true. The arch neocon warmongering bloodthirsty McCain is burning in hell about now. Died the scoundrel. He trained ISIS and other terrorists in Jordan and murdered millions of people around the world, mainly in the Middle East. Mm, his soul burns in hell. No wonder he died of that horrible cancer. He should go to hell. He should have gone to hell a long time ago. His own government killed him in the end with Agent Orange. It's possible he became a liability. And this government killed millions of innocent Vietnamese at the same time. Wow. This is uh, worse than when Brzezinski died. The pig was responsible for the death of pig, uh -huh. death of millions. His records show he had voted pro-war for every war the U.S. has had since Vietnam. Meeting with the devil in hell, good for him. Uh, oh, John, now you can rest in peace in hell. He's an embarrassment to America. Thank God, such an evil man is now off the surface of the earth. Hell is empty because all the devils are loosening. Or oh, all the all the devils have been let loose, murdering in the Middle East. That's why the devil's master is calling the demons back to hell, like McCain. Hmm. Good peace. Yes, he was a warmonger. The vile Vietnamese child and woman killer is no more. He was truly damaged and evil. 
he has to answer to God for crimes against humanity. Well, there, this goes on and on and on. Wow. Again, this is on Press TV Com. Um, from the 26th headline, U.S. Senator John McCain, death, dead, dies. <laughs> That's the URL, I'm serious. U.S. Senator John McCain. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Dead. Dead. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, remember Hillary? He came. <laughs> Death dead dies. Oh, God. Uh, here's a picture of uh, McCain and his... Um, ISIS L news Nusra terrorist friends and this goes on and on and on and on just a butcher Let's see here he was the worst thing an American can be uh, he was a psychopath that typifies American mentality he was one of the crusaders who wanted Jerusalem for Jews. He supported the mass murder of countless numbers of Muslim people. Uh, the world is truly a better place without him. A war hero serves humanity, not causing millions of people to die. Of course, he's a war criminal. One down, several to go. Yep. So, so long, Swine McCain. That's another one. He was one of the members of the Deep State. That was defined in 2014 by Mike Lofgren, a former blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, it's strange that he died of the same type of cancer as Kennedy in the same building. Huh. That's an interesting fact. That was from a guy named Mitt Morin. Nice observation. Didn't know that. Um, well, it's about time the real truth was told about John McCain. He was such a vicious killer of human life that the U.S. military had set him up to meet a firing squad. He has Nixon to thank or he would have been in hell a long time ago. If you live to kill, something will kill you. Look at all the unnecessary deaths that spawn of Satan caused worldwide. Rot in hell, McCain. You deserve your just reward. Well, okay, very good. Okay, that's on Press TV Com. Um, from 826, uh, story 572345, uh, URL, <laughs> page named U.S. Senator John McCain, Death Dead Dies. <laughs> okay, so that's it there. Um, hopefully, spread this video about the planned uh, false flag in Syria, although I don't think Russian intelligence will allow it to actually happen. Hopefully not. Hopefully it has been stopped and all the guilty par parties have been liquidated. Cause that is how Russia deals with terrorists. Russia does not sponsor them. Russia liquidates them wherever in the world they may be. Just kidding. Okay, here we go. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching, listening. I hope this was informative. If you like this video, what do you do? You, you click like down there or repost it or comment or do a thumbs up or, you know, send an email to jar2 at jar2.com or jar2 at jar2.biz or visit the site. Um, 
make a donation if you have an extra 50 cents and that's it for me so let me know if you like this and if you do I'll make more and if you don't and you hate me spread it and tell everyone what it